Hi everyone, I'm Chang Nguyen and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and hardware tour of the Verizon Wireless Palm Pre Plus and the Palm Pixie Plus. Both models are available exclusively starting on January 25th through Verizon Wireless. The Palm Pre Plus and Pixie Plus both offer enhancements, incremental upgrades compared to their Sprint counterpart, the original Palm Pre and Pixie. Let's go ahead and first do an unboxing and hardware tour of the Palm Pre Plus, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same with the Palm Pixie Plus. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Palm Pre Plus. On the outside, you have an attractive vellum sleeve and the Palm Pre-like packaging that debuted with the original Palm Pre on Sprint's network. Removing the box or the top lid, you have the device here which has a uh, glossy finished front and a matte backing, very attractive, and feels very comfortable in the hands. Let's go ahead and set that aside. The device rests on top of a molded uh, plastic tray. Inside you have a getting started guide, a gesture guide, and some consumer information about radio frequency and safety. There's also a pamphlet with a picture of the device um, turned on with the cards on the WebOS engine. Um, on the back, it shows Palm resources and ways to contact Palm for help in setting up the device. Lifting up um, another vellum tray, you have here, it looks like a wall charger that connects to the device via a USB cable. Also present, um, stereo headphones, um, a USB cable to micro USB so you can connect it to your wall charger or your computer to charge and sync the Palm Pre Plus. There's also a suede leather uh, sleeve to protect the device and, um, from scratches. The device now has up to 16 gigs of storage memory of which 15 gigs is accessible to the user. This is up from the eight gigs on the original Palm Pre. Um, it looks like Palm has addressed some of the user complaints on the original Pre with a more solid and stable sliding mechanism the slider reveals in portrait mode a keyboard um, and it looks like the keys, although are similar to the original pre on Sprint, now has um, more of a clicky feel rather than the mushy feel of the original Palm Pre keyboard. On the left hand side of the device you have the volume up and down switch. Moving up to the top you have in the center a 3.5mm headphone jack a uh, ringer silencer switch, and on the top right corner here, you have um, the power button. On the right hand side, you have a flap here, which uh, lifts up to, re uh, to reveal the micro USB charging port or for charging and syncing. On the back side of the device, you have a three megapixel camera with autofocus and enhanced depth of field, along with an LED flash and speakers on the other side. There is a depression here on the bottom, which you can push in with one finger and run your fingernails along both sides of the device to remove the matte battery cover, which reveals a touchstone compatible uh, battery cover. So you only need to purchase the touchstone um, charging dock, which attaches to the device magnetically, which is a nice touch. So you don't have to purchase a separate touchstone compatible battery cover. The touchscreen measures 3.2 inches diagonally with 320 by 480 resolution and 24 bits of color supported, so it is very crisp and vivid. Inside you have 16 gigs of, uh, of storage capacity. Also the RAM is doubled compared to the Palm Pre, so things should be a little bit snappier. You have the excellent uh, Palm Synergy engine which integrates all your contacts into one um, application which is nice. Also gone from the original Palm Pre is the center home button. Here instead you get this, uh, this uh, touch sensitive um, strip here which acts in a similar way as the original home button on the Palm Pre. With more RAM, things will scroll through very smoothly and also opens um, up doors for uh, 3D gaming courtesy of the device's Power V3 um, graphics processor along with Palm's um, SDK. The device is very attractive and addresses um, some of the complaints with the Palm Pre, chiefly the um, sliding mechanism and the mushy keyboard. Um, there is very minimal branding. The Verizon Wireless logo here is actually from the screen, which um, is flush. 
the only other branding that we see um, is on the back side where the Palm logo is on the back battery cover. And here you have the Verizon logo um, on the back of the slider, which is imprinted on a um, mirror-like finish, perhaps um, for taking self-portrait. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Palm Pixie Plus now, which employs a similar um, packaging style, or the same packaging style rather, that the Palm Pre uses. Let's go ahead and remove the um, plastic screen uh, cover. The Palm Pixie Plus, um, compared to the Palm Pixie, um, is relatively um, similar on the outside. You do have um, similar guides that the original or that the Pre Plus comes with. Inside, accessories are a little bit more scarce. You only have the uh, USB to micro USB charge and sync cable along with a wall charger. You do not get headphones and there is no protective um, suede sleeve for the Pixie Plus. The Pixie Plus has a smaller 2.63 inch uh, diagonal screen. Um, that has a resolution of 320 by 400 and supports 18 bits of color, which is down from the 24 bits on the Pre Plus. Um, removing the unibody uh, like um, rubber plastic uh, rubber battery cover, um, you see that there it's not a touchstone compatible battery cover here. The device on the back has a 2 megapixel camera with. Um, with a LED flash and only mono speakers, similar to the pre or the original pre on Sprint. Um, like the Sprint model and the Pixie model, or the like the Sprint Pixie model and the Pre Plus model, you have the same capacitive strip here um, instead of the home button, the physical home button. The keyboard here is a little bit um, raised and offers more travel. It's a nicer feel, I think, than the both the Pre and the Pre Plus. Um, Software-wise, it's very similar. You do get um, the Synergy engine that integrates contacts and calendars nicely. Um, and the screen is also very gorgeous. Different from the original Pixie, you have 16 gigs instead of the 18 gigabytes of storage. And also included with the Pixie Plus is Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi is significant in both the Pre Plus and the Pixie Plus in that a mobile hotspot application will be available in Palm's app catalog, which will turn both devices into a MiFi like device, allowing you to share your Verizon wireless broadband connection, mobile broadband connection with up to five other devices so you can tether um, wirelessly when on the go. The downside of that is um, Verizon Wireless will be charging for the features on both the um, Palm Pre Plus and the Pixie Plus. On top of your voice plan, you do have to add on a $30 um, data plan just for smartphone usage. And if you use the MiFi like tethering capabilities over Wi Fi, Verizon Wireless will tack on another $40 on top of your voice plan. So um, that will give you five gigabytes of data transfer per month and overages are charged at five cents per megabyte. Um, both devices are attractive. The Palm Pre Plus has a very organic and comfortable feel to it in the hands. Um, the device is shorter than the um, Pixie Plus and a lot of comparisons can be made between these two devices and the Sprint counterparts. Both devices will be available on January 25th. The Pre Plus will be available for $150 on a two-year contract through Verizon Wireless as a more high-end device. The entry-level smartphone, um, the Pixie Plus, will be available for $99 on Verizon Wireless with a two-year contract. So this is Chang Wen, and this is a quick tour of the hardware on both the Palm Pre Plus and the Pixie Plus. Thanks for watching.